Preparing 3D data for consumption in different ways is simple to do in ArcGIS Pro. We start by creating a new scene to contain all the data we want to make available to our different stakeholders. We have textured buildings and bridges that we want to display, as well as some point data sets representing trees and parking garages within our city. These can simply be added to your 3D scene as easily as you would add them to a 2D map, drag and drop, or by using the Add Data tool. We also have a higher resolution ground elevation data set, or DTM. We'd like to use this instead of the Esri default world elevation service because it will provide a more accurate ground surface and will be more useful for visualization and any other analysis we may need to do. Now 3D data can be incredibly large because of detailed graphics and textures, but a really efficient way of sharing 3D data is to use scene layers. Scene layers better enable you to author and visualize large amounts of 3D content and then combine this with other 3D content for visualization and analysis across the ArcGIS platform. Since ArcGIS Pro gives us a number of base maps to choose from, we'll change the base map to imagery as this will be better for our th realistic 3D scene. Scene layers can be used to stream and distribute LiDAR point clouds, multi-patch feature layers, and point feature layers, and these can be created in ArcGIS Pro. Scene layers are created using the Create Scene Layer tool from the Geospatial Toolbox, and the tool is the same whether you're working with multi-patch features or point features. ArcGIS Pro will automatically create the corresponding scene layer to the input data or feature type. We can choose our input layer and give it a name, we can choose what we want our output scene layer package to be called. If we need to, we can change the coordinate system. And we just run the Create Scene Layer Package tool. When that's done, we'll have a package that can be used in ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Online. We've replaced our bridge feature layer with the scene layer package using the Add Data tool. The SLPK files created by this tool can be shared amongst users for consumption in ArcGIS Pro, but we also want them to be available for use across our ArcGIS platform, so we can publish these to ArcGIS Online from our Pro scene. By using the Share Package Geoprocessing tool, we can upload and share our 3D object scene layers, buildings and bridges to our ArcGIS Online portal. If a scene layer is greater than one gigabyte in size, this tool is the only way to upload. Now we could do the same with our point scene layers, the trees and the parking garages, but since these layers are smaller than one gigabyte, we'll upload these directly within ArcGIS Online. Now to represent our city accurately, we also want to create a hosted elevation layer from our higher resolution DTM file. Using a DTM also has the benefit of letting us use our elevation layer in a local web scene. So first we'll use the Manage Tile Cache tool to create a cache, specifying location, name, input data, and tiling scheme. There's an ArcGIS online tiling scheme that we'll use, and we can use the check boxes to specify which tiling levels we need to generate. Now once we have our tile cache, we can use the export tile cache tool to generate a tile package for upload to ArcGIS Online. After a tile package has been generated, you can either use the share package tool to upload, or if your tile package is less than a gigabyte in size, you can upload directly from your content page in ArcGIS Online. This is what we'll do with our parking and tree layers, instead of styling them in 3D in ArcGIS Pro. And now that we've prepared our 3D data, we can use ArcGIS Online to create web scenes and more to meet the needs of our different stakeholders.